Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I got a bunch of little tiny rocks I want to cut open. So let's just get at it. Starting off with a little bit of black agate that broke up a little bit. Here's this side. Uh, this will be a nice one once I kind of grind through that a little bit and let the light through. I'll try and see if it'll let any through right now. Not really. <laughs> and on this side. Nice. Here's some more Bertrandite. I'm going to be cutting a lot of this stuff today, so <laughs> let's take a look. Nice and purple. A little bit of this kind of red agate from the San Rafael Swell area. Interesting. Here's some more of the black agate. Not too bad. Like I said, it'll look better when I kind of get it thinner and get some light through it. This one unfortunately shattered, but you can see the nice purple in it. This one was really small. The other side didn't survive, but look at that. That is really nice. Here's some more of the black agate. Oh, this one's a lot more colorless. This will probably let light through. Yep, look at that. Cool. Here's a nice little Dugway Geov. Looks pretty. This is a little bit of that kind of reddish agate from Levan. Looks like it's got some calcite in it. Uh, not great inside, but interesting. Some more Bertrandite. Ooh, nice. Here's a little bit of Wonderstone. Very nice. Here's a tiny piece of Wonderstone. <laughs> Interesting. Here's some more Bertrandite. Once again, the other side broke apart. Very dark purple. This was a volcanic pebble that was just sitting on the ground that I figured I'd cut open. It looks like what I thought it would look like, but it's pretty. A lot of these volcanic rocks can be very pretty if they've got large crystals of things, in this case, feldspar. Some more Vernon Wonderstone. Nice tiny piece. Cool. Here's some Salina Wonderstone. Let's take a look. Nice. Some more Bertrandite. Ah, almost dropped it. Purple. Nice. This was some of the red agate from Levan. Kind of broke apart a bunch. But there you can see it. Really nice. And here's some of this part. Yeah, look at that. Another Dugway Geode. Nice. Here's some more Vernon Wonderstone. I mean, Salina Wonderstone. Nice. Here's the Vernon Wonderstone. Nice. Another Dugway Geode. This one feels quite hollow. And it is. Nice. Here's some more Bertrandite. Cool. Here's some more Salina Wonderstone. Okay. Not too bad. Here's a nice Jasper nodule from San Rafael Swell. I tried to cut it this way, didn't quite work, so I cut this way and... Okay. Okay, you know, we're starting to see some stuff going on. I think maybe I need to go a little further into it, but interesting. Some more Bertrandite. Very nice. Here's some nice Vernon Wonderstone. Yep, about what I thought it would look like. <laughs> cool. Here's another Dugway Geode. Very nice. Looks good. So Eric, once again, cut up uh, some rocks that I had. And this one he cut into a bunch of slabs. It was a jasper um, rock that I had that I've been wanting to cut for a while. And there it is. While the colors aren't great, the pattern is really cool. So this pretty much looks the same all the way through. But these are nice slabs. Yes, a nice jasper. Very cool. Now, the other one he cut up for me was a really nice Jasper agate that I got from 
I can't remember if this one was Drum Mountains or that area that Tim and I, that Tim found with the, uh, the that was over by what's called the Little Moab. So take a look though. Look at the chambering in that. Beautiful. Yeah, actually, I think this might be Drum Mountain. Really nice. Look at that slab. Neat stuff. Yeah, the more I look at this, more I think this was Drum Mountain. These are just nice, nice slabs. Ah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful. And that's it. Very small, but very pretty. A lot of them were very interesting. A little bit more going on in some of them than I thought. But overall, just a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.